welcome back to Sahara TV. This is Adiola Fayon, and we've been discussing about the state of education in Nigeria. We're looking at the good, the bad, and the ugly part five. Today is part five, and we're looking at tuition in Nigeria compared with the amenities that the students are getting or not getting. Earlier, we've spoken with two students. Uh, each of them talked about their tuition and what they are getting or and what they are not getting as well from their schools. But right now, I have the privilege of talking with Mr. Abubakar Abba Tahir from uh, American University of Nigeria. He's the Assistant Vice President of Public Relations and Communications Department. Mr. Abubakar, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, welcome to Sahara TV. How are you today? Fine, thank you. All right. I just wanted to start out by asking how much are your students paying and tell me a little about what they are getting uh, in terms of amenities. Yeah, they're getting, they are paying around 2 million naira per annum, that's roughly for tuition, room, and board. And they're getting uh, well ahead of what they are paying in terms of services, in terms of mentoring, in terms of uh, leadership training in terms of experience, in terms of interaction in class and out of class with globally distinguished professors and a really internationally diverse community. Can you be more specific in terms of the amenities? Yeah, we, we are the only university in this region of Africa that is completely wireless. We are driven by fiber optics. Every component of the campus is completely wireless, connected to the internet 24 hours daily. Our students are either on laptops or on iPads, including professors. All dorms are internet enabled. You know, all uh, so facilities apart from the in internet? and around the. Yeah, classrooms are very small. We maintain small class sizes, uh, uh, just uh, around 20, 25 max. Uh, you know, and. Uh, Students have the opportunity to pass through academic advising, consistent academic advising, which is a culture that is not very common uh, in universities around Nigeria. Students also have the opportunity to take courses outside of their major. Students spend the first two years of their life in American University of Nigeria reading courses outside of their field. They are tailored to think critically to think critically how to establish themselves, how to solve society's problems, I see. Um, not how to I, be to, problems um, in society. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, the two million, I'm just trying to see a little breakdown. Thank you for giving me a snapshot about the amenities and the facilities that the students are getting. Do you know like how the percentage of what goes into paying your professors and your lecturers? Percentage of what goes into what? Paying the lecturers? No, not really. Not really. That does not fall under my purview. I see. Yes. Okay, but then when you but, admit but, the but, students, you tell them where, I, I mean, the money, you tell them, okay, the two million, this is for tuition, this is for board, room and board, and so on. You give for them. For books, for e books, for you know. For books and everything. What about yes, uh, yeah. students that want to attend a school like this and next they don't have two million naira? Do you guys have any uh, scholarship program for them? Yeah, we do. Incidentally, today is AUN's National Scholarship Day. Uh, Ten percent of AUN students are put on scholarship. You know, and the scholarships are completely by merit. So uh, we, the university has launched a National Scholarship Day. That is that comes annual in all the six regions. A city is selected, and then students go and then apply for those scholarships. Whoever is found uh, worthy you know, has passed our entrance exam in terms of meeting the requirements of the scholarship. Then he comes on board. Then his college is uh, his tuition is completely covered. Tuition room and board. We are extending this scholarship to even students, qualified students from neighboring countries like Cameroon and another and other countries so, so every year uh, students are put on scholarship i see so um the students is, is the is, are you getting money from the government apart from the tuition that the students are paying no we don't we are not a government university so we are never subvented by any government I see. you know 
about them, the student fee. Yeah, what been... the student fee, uh -huh. what the student pay, yeah. do not actually pay for the entire operations of the university. So how do you get your money? We are driven, we are driven by, a, by a globally distinguished board, you know, board that comprise globally distinguished academic leaders and statesmen who are contributing to this university until it can stand on its feet. I see. Not so, necessarily waiting. Yeah, yeah. So what is the difference between your students uh, when they graduate compared with students who go to other schools? Yeah, because they have the capacity to solve problems, to think critically. You know, they don't wait in the cozy comfort of their home corridors to wait for government jobs or jobs in the private sector to be just advertised be be before they make a move. You know, before they leave the university, every student, regardless of what course you study, must know how to run a business. Must have passed through the processes and procedures of developing business plans and proposals, present them in class or out of class, and then such plans are improved, you know, until they are made perfect so that you have the capacity to uh -huh. implement such decisions when you leave the university. I know that your school is fairly a new school. Has it always been two million naira or there has been increase over very the well. years? Very well. I know that your, you your school is, well. is fairly new. So I'm saying yes. that uh, uh, has it always been two million naira uh, or there has no. been increase over the years? Yeah, there has been increase, uh, some realistic increase to come to terms with the reality of operating the university. So you did, know, the is, okay, did the students Hello, ever Nigeria complain? Did the students ever complain? Nigeria is a generator-driven economy, but at AUN, we have electricity 24 hours. And that happens because we spend a lot in trying to make that possible. Okay. So have, have your students ever complained about the increase in tuition? Of course it's likely, wherever you increase, even if you, it's the, the open place, you, you're you used to buying uh, a candy at, at one couple, or one naira, or one dollar, and tomorrow when you go, you hear that there is a slight increase. But of course you could complain. So how, how did you deal with it's that when they, when they complained? Did you bring down the price a little or you uh, went ahead? How did you deal with that? We sit down and discuss with them so that they understand the reality because they are also, majority of them are Nigerian. They understand the Nigerian condition. We have a functional student government administration elected by the students, you know, who then to in, uh, in parliament, in the university, and the, their leaders are also part of the President's Council. The President of the SGA sits on the President's Council every Tuesday. So uh, the President and the students through the President know exactly the direction where the university is going at any point. So that has not been understanding the, the, the decisions of senior management about all happenings in the university. I see. Well, I'm running out of time, Mr. Abubakar, but thank you very much for joining us today on Sahara TV. We thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you, Diola. Yeah. All right. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye. Hi, viewers. Welcome back. That has been Mr. Abubakar Abba from American University of Nigeria. He's the assistant vice president. PR and communications. We've been talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly uh, in the Nigerian education system. We're weighing the tuition with the amenities and the facilities that the students are getting. Uh, don't forget to send us pictures of your dorm, your hostels, what your school looks like on our Facebook page. We like to, you know, publish them and let the world see <clears throat> what's happening in your school. Um, hopefully, when our, our education, our hopefully when our uh, politicians and other education sectors listen to such interviews like this, hopefully they will be challenged, you know, to provide better facilities, better amenities, and that's why we're doing all this. Uh, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned. Uh, we have more interviews coming. <laughs>